In December, images of Chechen volunteers fighting with the Ukrainian armed forces began to feature an interesting craft-made weapon, an RPG munition made from the body of a small fire extinguisher. These RPG warheads improvised from fire extinguishers have appeared in numerous videos and photographs from the Sheikh Mansur Battalion. The battalion was formed back in 2014 and is made up of exiled Chechens who reject Russia's control over their region. The battalion itself is named after an 18th century Chechen military leader. The battalion had disbanded in 2019, but reformed in March 2022. Since then, they've reportedly seen action during the Battle of Kiev, in Donbass, and during the Battle of Severodonetsk, and most recently in the fighting around Bakhmut. There's a long history of improvised warheads adapted for launch from the RPG-7, but I think this is the first time I've seen a fire extinguisher body used, at least in this phase of the fighting in Ukraine. It appears that the fire extinguisher body has been emptied and filled with whatever explosive and shrapnel material is readily available. And it's then been adapted to fit a standard PG-7 sustainer motor and booster. They appear to use V429 or V429E point detonating fuses. These fuses were developed for use on high explosive projectiles used by various comblock weapon systems including the T and MT-12 anti-tank guns the 150mm main gun on the T-62, and the 125mm guns on the T-64, 72, 80 and T-90 series tanks. Some other fuses appear to have been used as well, but these are difficult to identify. But conceivably, any impact fuse would work. The inertia armed impact fuses normally arm within 5 to 15 metres of the muzzle, once fired from a conventional barrel. It appears that the fuses have been epoxied into place. How the mass and shape of the improvised round impacts the velocity of the warhead once it's fired is unclear. But Bill correspondent Bjorn Stritzel, who recently met with members of the battalion while writing an article about them, told me that the range of the warheads is about 100 metres. He noted that the Chechens have found them to be very effective in Bakhmut, and that apparently its firepower surprised the Russian forces entrenched in houses, according to radio chatter picked up by the battalion. While we don't have a perfect close-up of them, the extinguishers themselves appear to be small 2kg or £5 units, which contain powder. From a quick survey of some Ukrainian websites which sell the extinguishers, the price of these ranges between 300 and 500 Ukrainian hryvnias, or around $8 to $14. The fire extinguisher rounds are probably being used as anti-personnel weapons, which will be fitting for the sort of fighting occurring around Bakhmut, where the majority of the imagery is said to be coming from. The thin steel body of the extinguisher may provide suitable fragmentation, or depending on the metal edgy, it may just rupture. According to Stritzel, the filling of the warheads is around 50% explosive and 50% shrapnel material. He also noted that the Chechens described the warheads as being three times more powerful than the normal OG-7V fragmentation rounds. Taking a look at the available imagery chronologically, the first video featuring the improvised warheads was published by the Sheikh Mansour Battalion on their social media around mid-December. It was subsequently seen in a Sky News report on the 22nd of December where a member of the battalion demonstrates how one of the extinguisher warheads is loaded. A video posted by the battalion's social media on the 27th of December showed four of the improvised rounds stacked ready for use with motor and booster assemblies attached. On the 31st of December, the battalion shared a photograph of a group of eight battalion members, one of which was seen holding an RPG-7 with one of the improvised extinguisher rounds loaded. During the second week of January, a video was shared of an individual in a fighting position firing one of the craft-made warheads. This clip gives us some idea of the weight of the round. The most recent video posted on TikTok on the 12th of January shows two of the improvised munitions being fired. These warheads follow the same design but differ slightly in that the fire extinguisher body appears to have been cut open at the centre and then welded or epoxied back together. Perhaps this is done to easier fill the munition, 
or perhaps to shorten a longer extinguisher body. For the first time, we get to see the explosion of the rounds downrange, giving us some idea of their yield and impact. This video again gives us a good indication of the weight of the round from the movement of the shooter after he fires. We can see the weight that he's been compensating for. It also illustrates the distances the round can travel, and notably, it appears to be used here against a Russian fieldwork rather than against a building. With fighting continuing in Bakhmut, we're likely to see more of these improvised fire extinguisher rounds in use, especially if they're as effective as the Sheikh Mansour battalion suggest. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this interesting. I certainly thought that the idea of making an improvised munition with a fire extinguisher was pretty fascinating. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Sharing the videos with friends really helps us to grow the channel. If you really enjoyed the video, please consider supporting us via Patreon or YouTube memberships. You can get early access to all of our videos as well as some other perks as well. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.